Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to my video for UK Scrap Addicts. Today um, I am up on the blog, YouTube and Instagram with this layout. So this month's theme is to use small photos. Now to me small photos work really well in a traveller's notebook. This, isn't, this is something you don't see very often um, from me on my channel over on my main channel um, but it is something that I am working in more and more um, especially with small photos they really lend themselves well to travellers notebook layouts so I've had this paper from Paige Evans Oh My Heart collection in my stash forever and I haven't really known what to do with it I love it but I didn't really know what to do with it now this is going to be perfect for this photo. So I've moved house recently and um, I've got this in my dining room. I've got this lovely bookcase and I really wanted a little nook area um, for somewhere that I could go and sit and read. And so I've got a little chair and I've bought a little footstool and I've taken a photograph of it because um, I like documenting the here and now. So how things look now. So it may be a random photo of a, of a bookcase and a chair, but it means something. And I'm going to put journaling on this, which is something I very rarely do. So you can see here, I've just cut down that paper so um, it fits in there. I have cut it in half um, because in a traveller's notebook, if you try and... Um, put the paper so it bends in the middle it makes the album really bulky so I've um, I've cut that in half and you've got a little white strip down the middle which I'm not too fussed about so I'm just going through the bits of ephemera left that I've got um, from this collection and literally I have this is all I've got left so um, there I know there's bits in here and the reason I wanted to use this collection is I know there are bits in here about books so I'm just sifting through um, and that little piece of ephemera there that says books and more books is going to be my title. Um, so I'm going to, that um, the photograph there, I've printed that on my um, HP sprocket. So there are a few little photo printers out there available um, if you're looking to print small photos. So you've got the sprocket and you've got the Instax as well. Um, both print, I think, a very similar size. Um, I think there's an, a bigger Instax one as well um, that you can print in a 3x3 three three size. So, or you can just print them on a 4x6 and cut them down if you prefer. So, here I've just fussy cut all those little pieces out and um, I'm going to use those as ephemera. I think they were on the cut apart sheet in the, um, on one of the papers or in the 6x6 six six paper pad. So, I'm just going to layer all of those up around the photograph to create my embellishing and I try not to add too much bulk into a traveller's notebook spread um, but I equally don't want it to look too flat so um, I'm very careful with how much um, dimension that I add on so those little books that I fussy cut out I did just pop some foam adhesive behind to give it a little bit of height and I'm going to pop those there and that little bit that says jeans, t-shirt, top knot um, is going to just uh, hide behind that little stack of books. And that is that little cluster done. I did consider adding a glassine bag to put some hidden journaling, but um, that green bit of paper to the right hand side has got lines on. I thought that'd be a perfect spot just to add journaling straight onto the page. So I've got this little chipboard piece. Um, again from the same collection trying to just use up those last few bits and it's going to make it onto this layout again I don't tend to use chipboard on a traveller's notebook page just purely because of the the thickness but as long as you don't add too much into the book it's not too much of a problem so yeah that books and more books is going to be my title and um, it doesn't stand out enough for me so um, just a little tip just to go around it with a black marker and um, give it some faux stitching um, or just draw around a black board, a black messy border or any other colour that you want to use would work well. And um, because chipboard has a habit of falling off, just adding some wet adhesive onto this. 
and then I wanted to mirror some of that um, faux stitching so I also go around the um, once that's all stuck down I also go around the little clipboard piece there as well and add the faux stitching ignore my head in shot add some faux stitching around to that so this is where I add my journaling in as I said those lines that are on that bit of paper there work perfectly as a journaling spot so I just put on there um, I can't remember what I write in the in the end I love a good book I couldn't resist making this little area a <laughs> little fast forward cozy spot for me to snuggle up in with a good read my book collection has had to be um I'll, I'll, I'll put my hand in the way just as I'm reading it for you um had to be oh, what have I put something down a little bit resize down a little bit I don't know um and I kept only the good ones anyway you can see detailed shots of these on the on the um on the blog um if you want to, to read that I can't see it on such a small screen whilst I'm editing so sorry about that um, so I'm just adding in these little flowers here and um, one thing I do add as well that you don't see in the video after I stopped filming um, is I did add in some thread, um, some pink and yellow thread um, to the top left and the bottom right of the photo just to add in some more interest. And then I'm just going through the Paige Evans sticker book to see if there's anything else that I'd like to add in from here. Um, and it's just a little tidy word sticker goes on. So thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you're watching on my channel, don't forget to head over onto UK Scrap Addicts. And the reverse, I'll leave all links in the comments down below. So um, any com any comments, I'll, um, I'll respond. And um, subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Bye.